Actually, I'll die. Well, hello. Okay, everybody get into a line facing those trees direct north. <coughs> <coughs> One line. The left and right of Harold. Ah, Harold doesn't have to relocate himself. Okay, once you're in your line, deploy your mortar. You see that group of three trees to our direct north? That is your target. I want you to range to whatever you think it is, but do not fire until I tell you to. So uh, do not say it out loud. You're just guessing. I just want to see how everyone's guesswork is. Shite, though. I, I teleported you all so you can just go on your map and look on the map. So it, unless you can find out exactly where we are on the map, which I'd be very fucking impressed with. Um, right, triangulate the trees. Alright. We're all ready? Great, awesome. Alright, Take, you fire first. And then we'll wait and see where it lands. How long was the fire time on your uh, shell, roughly? Um, Actually, don't, ooh, that'll spoil 16. it, never mind. 16.2 seconds. Wow, he spoils it. <laughs> oh, we got it. Oh, 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 don't do 16.2 seconds then. Okay, uh, Harold, you fire. Alright, miss time. <laughs> Alright, let me do my ace medical. Full heal. Oh. Heal. I, I was about to start trying to heal myself. Heal. What that one for? Oh, <laughs> too close, was it? It's yeah. coming in. Oh. It was, uh, yeah, that was over. Okay, who I think is I know the next? Moffat, fire. Oh, shit. Sick. Alright, yeah, so what, uh, the, high, the high explosives are primarily used to range your targets, um, and then you, the actual important use of the mortar is to smoke, because we don't have any smoke grenades, so the mortar is very useful for allowing retreats. Oop, that's the closest yet. Can I All give right. another go? Uh, once we get back to you. So, Harsis, you can fire. Firing. God, I, I, that's the first time I zoomed far away in Zeus before someone fired, and all I heard was just a little plop. Because of uh, I was like a certain amount of meters away that I'm not going to reveal yet, because then you'd literally just gauge it off of that. Oh, it was. I think that's the second best. Jesus. Okay, so we'll go back to Take, and you can fire your next high explosive. Oh, don't want me to fire. <laughs> well, you can fire if you want, Stevens. Just wait for uh, Take to fire. Not alone. Oh, he's joining us. Oh, that is like right next to um oh who was it? Was it Moffat who did the closest shot? I think it was. Alright. Are you wanting to have a go, Stevens? Yes. Alright, fire one ready, Stevens. That is already over, I can tell, now that I'm just looking at it. I can give it another fire if you want, I'm pretty sure I'll hit it this time. Ah, it. Give it a How many shots are you going to fire? All of them? Oh, yeah, oh yeah, it was. Alright, who is Way next? Over. Harold, I'm fire one ready. Miss. <laughs> I think it might go over. Whoops! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Oh! Why did you range that one out of interest? Let's leave that out. <laughs> Alright, Moffat, when you're ready. I feel like Moffat's got to have it because he was the closest on the first go and he's just got to get up a little bit. Bearing. Super close. That was that was perfectly bang on. It was just slightly to the right and slightly behind. Fantastic shot, Moffat. All right, Harsis. Comes the bullseye. It's awesome. Be impressed. Uh, yeah, remember three, what I said by two. using. 
Oh, that was close as well. They're about the same distance, just uh, your one is uh, short and Moffat's was long. Right, fantastic. Kind of so, can I give another try? Uh, yes, but uh, that's the two we'll do, uh, but you can fire if you want. All right, Moffat, what range did you use? I used um, a, li a little bit over 300 meters and then exactly 300 meters. Like uh, 1,357 elevation. Right, nice. And horses, what did you use? Uh, I, at first, I think uh, I went straight for 250, so it's 1,400. And the second time I tried, uh, 1,374. Yeah, so the target's about... You cut out. I'm just going to go figure out exactly what it is so I can get oh, the... Oh, yes. can I try again? Out of interest, <laughs> are we shooting at these three threes here? Uh, let me see. Oh, I try one, one more shot. <laughs> I'm a bit uh, uh, it's here. Yeah. Ah, see? That would be why I'm missing things. Oh, did you try to range it on the... I mean, if you look around, like... If you look east, that definitely looks like map edge from here. Yeah, so we are we are around 300, so you you guys were aiming right. If you were wanting to smoke us off so that we were going to the target, you'd want to aim short. Normally, short by about 50 meters. Um, it just depends on how big the target is, but... Um, Parsis would probably have the best shot for smoking off, but... You know, and okay. anyone who was getting it kind of close, we're doing pretty Self. well. Get this shot. I keep. Oh, Harsis Har Har had the best shot if we were wanting to smoke it out because it was in front. You obviously never want to smoke out behind, because uh, doesn't well, exactly help. Smoked now. All right. So what we will do next is I'll teleport us back to the armory to get our kits and then I'll teleport us. Oh, that was pretty good. I did it! All the way back to a different place, and we will talk about triangulation. So, everyone make sure you're out of your mortars. Is everyone out? I... I think... Um, yeah. Okay. First, next up, I'm going to teach you triangulation so that we can figure out how far we are. This will teach us the using of the compass, and then the final task will be using the compass to actually... Uh, for you to all shoot at the correct range. So, we are... Somewhere in this box here. Uh, uh, in the north. north. I think oh, I there. have the square. So everyone, just with your little marker, guess roughly where we are. Yeah, so we're somewhere in this field here. Awesome. Everyone's got that. So what we are all going to do is, can everyone see that building there on the map? So if you, if you look in person, I'm pointing that building. It's quite a long one. Yep, it's that one. In in person, get your compass. And what I want you to do is I want you to line up your compass with the very right-hand side of that building. So everyone can see the very right-hand side? You got your compass lined up with it? Yeah. Right, don't touch, don't move your mouse and go into your map. What I want you to then do is do control windows, map tools, and it should say show small map tool. Then you should uh, have it now in the bottom left hand side of your screen potentially, so just zoom out and go find where your map tool is. Uh, can you explain that again please? So, control windows, map tools, show small map tool. Map and tools, then, where's up? Uh, on the map, if you're on the map, windows when you're in the map. Oh. And then once you've got that map tool open, I want you to go back into your self interactions and I want you to align map tool to compass. Is it show, small map tool or show, show map, normal? Small map tool, yeah. So now that you've got it aligned to your compass, you should see your compass is pointing at around uh, 350. It's just under, it's maybe like 359. Everyone see that? On the compass, you should see the red arrow that points, would be it points directly towards 62. Yep. Right, so what you then want to do? is you want to take the side of that where there's the ruler and you want to align it perfectly so that it's at the very edge of that building that we showed on the map. So here's here's the very edge of it. You want the ruler aligned to that. Then what you want to do is you want to click Control shift right next to that ruler bit and then you want to draw a line all the way down so you've got a perfectly straight line from that point. 
Now, I've drawn mine ridiculously long like that, but you can all draw your own now. That's going to be a complete mess, but it's just to show you how it works. But yeah, we've all got them starting in different is... places. Turns out, if you move your mouse to the map edge while doing that, it draws off to space. Yes, so you can use the, the edge and it'll be a bit easier. Um, but it can get misaligned. Yes, it... You just basically want to just draw a straight line uh, down. Okay, what you will then do next, and I'm just going to delete all of yours and we'll just use mine um, for the example. Okay, so now we can see that there's a building off to our right. Can everyone find that on the map and circle it with their... Yeah, so it's this one here. So we're going to align with the right-hand edge of that one with our compasses. So everyone get your compass out and align that uh, nice flat line in the compass with there. But the right-hand side of the building. Right-hand side. You don't have to necessarily use the right-hand side, but because it's the sharp angle and the one on the left isn't as sharp, it's the easier one to do. And then once you've done that, go back into your map and align the map with your um, align the compass tool with your map, and then just get it right next to that building, this right hand edge, and again, we will draw, damn, that's a very good line, whose line is that? That's the line I'm going to use. Uh, yep, good job. Which one? Uh, the one tack, Adrian. Mine is huge, I don't know why, but draws a really, really big line. Did you use a different colour, Stevens? Yes, I'm using yellow. Quite smart. It's a good line as well, though. Harsis, you're a little bit off, it seems, with how your line is. Be different than everyone else's. Yeah, um, problem is with head tracking, like, the compass flips glitching all the time. Yes, w what I did the first time is I literally hold control, um, shift control to draw the straight line, and I just dragged it all the way down to the end of the compass, um, which gives you a very straight line, but then obviously if you look at the uh, map, I've kind of drawn it to the very edge of the map. Whoa. Yeah, so oh, mine go ridiculously far. Is the small map tool supposed to be like half as big as the whole map? Yes. Uh, it's a small map. You, you can open the big map tool and uh, see how big that is if you want. Nah. It's, uh, it's quite a bit bigger. So selfish. It's the normal map tool, not don't fat shame the map tools. I calm down. All right. So I will, now that we've done that, and it looks like we've a lot of us have gotten really close. It's mine, basically bang on Stevens. It is quite it's close to Stevens. All right. I will delete the other ones just so it's not us. Even mine. You Even said yours. I was going to use that one. Yeah, but I already made mine. Oh, perfect. Lie to you. Okay. So next up, we want to choose one more um, shape, and I'll try to use a bit more of a complicated one. Um, let's try to use the trees. So I'm looking at the trees bearing 255, five, and I'm just looking at the very edge of that forest around 255, five, and you, aligning my map tool to that. I'm then going to find the forest that is 255. This is maybe a bad forest to use. I think it is a bad forest to use. A car coming. Yeah, oh. never mind. These forests are shit, because I think what we're looking at is we're looking at this forest back here, and where you can get this kind of edge here, probably that point there. But forests are quite hard to triangulate. The best hey, Selfridge. Go... Yes? We've got a visitor. Back up. Uh, the best thing to use would be another building, so we could just use that building there. Oh no, my compass is not going away. Uh, double tap, okay. Um, uh, gone. So yeah, what we will actually use is we'll just use that part of the building. However, a two you can just use two uh, lines to triangulate roughly, but obviously a third line down from, say, the left end of that building over there. Or even, uh, if you really wanted, you could use the back left uh, end of the building we've already had. It's obviously not as accurate as taking three separate points, but just if uh, if you want to take... Pick, actually, everyone just pick your own random point that you want to use as a reference, and then just draw your line on there. 
and it should hopefully cross somewhere in this box here. Say that's not been aligned correctly, horses. I don't Does know that build it? I'm, I'm using the compass. Using... I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> so if I align my compass, if I align my map towards that compass, I'm getting a straight line from that point. Oh wow, that was definitely not my idea. Hey, Selfridge. Yes. Can you see what I used to make my third point? Uh, let me go check. Blue. Are, you, are you blue? No, I'm the yellow one. Oh, I can hardly see the yellow one. Oh, there's the yellow. Where does it originate from? I don't even know it's the road where... behind us, southwest. Because we have a road crossing to our southwest. Yep, that's a good thing to use. Open Peter Hanno, man. Um, How's mine? The one using the left side of the building as well. Yeah, these are all good. We can. We, we've now got. I, I don't know how many lines this is, but it's quite a good. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely no longer triangulating. So uh, you can actually use multiple people to very quickly get a triangulation. But anyway, we've got a triangulation. I'm going to go mark on the map exactly where we are. Or actually just. Why is the only line I can see the big, thick one? Um, <laughs> because oops. it's the channels are just there. Okay, so let's... We... I am exactly on the A marking. How good were we? Made a we were pretty <laughs> fucking good, pretty weren't close. we? Pretty um, close. Alright, so we are roughly all on the A marking. I'm going to delete all the maps. Things. So, we all know how to triangulate now. So let's figure out how to calculate distance. So... Let's say we want to find how far away that uh, building is. What you do is you get your control, you get your map tool, you obviously point towards that building. Um, no, you don't actually have to point towards that building. If you go into your map and bring the map tool up to and put us on the center, you put the little dot in the very center of the compass on the A, then if you just hold Alt, you can just orientate the compass. So orientate the compass so the red line goes towards that building and then once uh, you've done that building, the long one yeah the long one i don't really care where you point on that building just somewhere on that building then once you've done that drag the compass down and go put the zero zero cross part directly on that building and then you should be able to read off how far away that building is from is from us so take how do you how far away do you think that building is from us I don't think I quite understood what you meant, but I would hazard... I, I use it, you should just have a measurement. So, oh. Alright, so get your compass, uh, the map tool, on your map. Bring... I'm currently on my map, yeah. Alright, you see the, there's the compass in the centre of the map tool. I got the compass out. Alright, put the dot of that compass, of the map tool's compass, on the A. What dot? The very on centre of the map tool. The map tool, there's a very centre oh, of it. Oh, the very centre of the compass that's in between On the, the map tool, yep. Put that little dot on the A, and then holding Alt with the map tool, you need to point it so that the red arrow's line is pointing directly towards that building. So the bearing I have got is 342 to 343. Oh, yeah, I got it. Yeah, there you go. So then you just hold Alt and align it the way you want it to be aligned. Uh, anyway, everyone else has done that, correct? You can just figure around with that. So, uh, can... Harsis, how far away do you think that building is from us? Uh, I would say 110 meters or something. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Harold? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. Okay, um... Moffat? I'd say 120, 110, yeah. Yep. 120. Yeah, the building seems to actually stretch from 110 to 130, uh, just because of the position we are in. Have you got it, Taco? Um, how do I make the uh, map tool smaller? Ah, uh, you don't. You don't. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> That's it. You live Wait with for it. cold weather. 
Um, I would r reckon... Hold on, I had it the wrong way around. Hey, Junior. There is also, if you zoom out, you can see on the right, you've got um, a kilometers, up to three kilometers. Since your uh, mortar can only fire 650 meters, if you're ever using the kilometer one, you're doing something wrong, or you've got a very effective mortar. But yeah, we only need to use the smaller 0 to 10. If you were using a massive artillery piece, you'd want to use the 0 to 3. And then you could bring out a massive map tool if you really wanted to have uh, some long range fire. Anyway, uh, you see this building over here, everyone? I would reckon it's 120 meters. Yep, I'm happy with that. Does everyone see the building that I'm uh, yellow dotting? Like, Hold on, let me open my map again. Uh, let me just draw an object on it. Uh, there you go. Everyone sees this up here, right? Yep. Everyone knows we're at point A? Okay, I want everyone to get a bearing and a distance to it. So, put your little dot on the A. Spin it around to that. Have I to picked one that is perfectly blindsided? I have. Yes. Fantastic. We'll go from here. <laughs> <laughs> That was all part of the training, entirely planned. <laughs> oh, Whenever yeah. you do something, Southridge is never planned. Right. Just like our main. Uh, ooh, I picked one that's perfect. Perfect. Alright. Um, yeah, Does that, do people have a bearing in a distance? Yes. Alright, go, horses. Uh, it's bearing uh, 55 and it's roughly 670 meters away. 670? 670. Are you saying 70 or 17? 17. 70. Oh. I've got 610. Oh, I've got yeah. 620. Um, yeah, yeah 610. <laughs> it's 610, I just can't read this thing. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Um, Harold, you got. Uh, or, yeah, I got a number, definitely. What's your number? Good one. <laughs> do you want to share? Do you want to share it with us? No. <laughs> what is it? Oh, no. uh, six hundred. Yeah, that's good. And then, have you got a bearing? Nah, I mean, fifty-five something. Yeah, it's bang on fifty-five for me. Taka, you got it. Um... Did I ask you, Moffat? Yeah, I think it's... what? I think I... the bearing is 60 and the range is 610. 60. I, I'd say more a bearing of, of 55. Um... But what we'll do is, uh... Well... True, uh, it, it, it's between 55 and 60, so... Everyone's got your ranges, everyone has your bearings. Yes, Set up your mortars. I want uh, everybody to be ready to fire a single smoke grenade at that bearing. Do not fire it until I say, obviously. But uh, use your compass, or actually it tells you. So you want to you get your DIR, which is your orientation, to what you thought it was, and then try to range it correctly. It's a bit annoying with the distance between 600 to 650 being quite a you know, 1,005 to 841, but just do your best. <sighs> and once, is up. once you're ready to fire, uh, well, I'm just going to start calling someone. Okay. Ready. Uh, since Harold was the most confident, I'm going to say, Harold, you fire first. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> That's okay. Well, oh, just tell me what it says to fight. Oh, wow. Lovely. Beautiful. You yes. actually, you hit the roof. Yes. It's... No, uh, I, I've taken a screenshot of that, and I'll wait for that to dissipate. But the first screenshot is yours, Harold, and it is a glorious one. My yes, fire HE. Yes. Uh, yeah. You want to uh, fire HE? I, I want I to fire HE. So, I think there's a rule now that we're not allowed to fire HE after what well, apparently headquarters, with the entirety of a mortar battery, for be a great idea. 
to change from smoke to HE during a mortar train exercise and blow up the entire no, vehicle just, depot. Just, it's fine. Then they can do that. I did that. Uh, just fire a smoke <laughs> for me and. Wait, Harsis, you were the one that blew the vehicle depot? Uh, on a different one. Harsis, you ready to fire HE? Ready? Not HE. Smoke, ready? smoke, smoke. smoke. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, you fire when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Fire okay, so you're, you're, the... Ready, so you're the person that killed me then, selfish. Huh. No, I was doing it with just me and Demore online. You were bang on the roof as well. You were a closer, um, you were a closer part of the building than Howard was, but bang on the roof. So I'm happy with that. Uh, I will just wait a little bit for that to decay. Did I take a screenshot? I think I did take a screenshot. It's both the same one. They'll never know. <laughs> just four of the same one. <laughs> uh, Moffat, when you're ready, you can fire your uh, round. I really want to fire HE. What if you? What well, if you I shot the uh, HE. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> well that that shot. Yep, that was good. Wait, he fired HE. Ah, I can fire HE then. Shoot, shoot it through a window. Put it into the living room. Those are mistakes. You either hit know the HE through the window right. or you Yeah, you can fire your HE now, Taka. And you've all hit the building, by the way. So no pressure, Taka. We're all qualified. No pressure. Hey, Selfridge? Yeah? You don't mind if I lob one after, right? Oh, bang on the building as well. You basically landed directly on top of uh, Moffat's fucking shell. <laughs> Brilliant. You mean you, mean you missed Selfridge? No, he, he hit perfectly on, on like where Moffat hit. That was really good. Alright, yeah, go ahead, Simmons. Can, can, can we all just fire HE at the building? That's... Uh, once Stevens has uh, done his, you can just spam as much ammo as you want at that building. Say, if you want to that's gonna miss perfectly. Yeah, yeah I was waiting. Yeah, all, all the recruits did perfectly and you, uh, you miss. Honestly, Let's see. on purpose. Oh, nah, yeah, that... Basically a centre of the building, right on top. Fantastic. That family's dinner is a bit ruined now, I think. Alright, everybody, get a HE ready to fire really, at that building. And then I will count you down from three. I will say three. I will then say two. I will then say one. I will then say fire. You uh, you fire on the number one. Uh, I'm joking. You fire it on fire. So is everybody ready with their HE? Ready. Right. Ready. Three, two, one, fire. <laughs> I should have taken a screenshot of that. I really bon I got one for yourself, Rich. I got Thank one. you very much. Bon voyage, you cream. Have a all right, and uh, I will just. Uh... Oh, <laughs> that was just a decimating round. Do, do, do. All right, is everybody ready to fire it again? Yeah. Right. Yep. Three, Wait. two, one, fire. Beautiful. I didn't get more. <laughs> it's a beautiful screenshot, and then it's just me in the background fiddling around Hello. my inventory. It looks like. Oh no, no, I'm, I'm trying to get the the four main recruits in front. Really. Oh. That is beautiful. How's the building? Do you have a pair of binoculars on you? Uh, the building doesn't look like it's destroyable. Mm. But that was fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, again. <laughs> you can fire one more if you want, just fire on your own. Ready? Role. Or do you want oh. me to do a countdown? Alright. Three, two, one, fire! That was, Damn it, that was two people. <laughs> That's fine. No. So, yes. Um, I don't think there's much more. I can actually teach. It's more of just feel free to come on the training server at any point, go to mortar number one, and then go try find a random place in the vehicle and fire. Uh, just you... probably not the vehicle deep. Uh, okay. Yeah, so you should have all the skills now to know how to fire the mortar. Um, and also tri tri triangulation, which I didn't know beforehand. Be harsh. Yes. I love how I didn't actually tell any of you that page up and page down was how you changed it. You just all figured it out by yourself. So well done on that. Um, well, I fired a mortar before this training, so. Yes. So, yeah. Feel free at any point to come onto this training server and play around with mortars. Only request is, as always, if you break something, just ping a member of staff and we'll reset the server. And then you um, have to pay for insurance. There is no issue with this payment. <laughs> right, who's got an HC? Let's play Mortar Roulette. I want to join. Hold up, one second. We're playing yeah, Roulette, we're boys. We're teleporting us all back so we can get our... Okay, let's hop in. Let's go. He's, he's only the only guy that teleported. No space, sorry! 
Hey, hey bro. Cardio. Hey, Cardio. Oh, Jesus we're gonna show up. Fuck you. Hell. Fire back. Fire back. I got him. Up. You missed. Retaliation turns around. Oh, huh. he's dead. You know. Okay, now where is the fire? The hills are alive. The sound of. Help. Help. Please don't put the windshield. For God's sake. I'm bleeding profusely. Okay. Now I need to use my somewhat incompetent map skills to try and figure out where the fuck we are. Listen, you just gotta go. East. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> um. Is it, is it undrivable? Fuck. I think it's Wait. Uh, a dead. Yeah, there's no, there's no engine. <laughs> there's no engine. <laughs> Well, someone was pissed. You dead? Yeah, it's done. Yep, definitely dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, Selfridge, you so, don't. So, uh, <laughs> now, remember how we did ranging before? So, uh, what we see is you see off to our... This is not roulette. Uh, you see there's the P at range. Yeah. Uh, around bearing 240. Before we play roulette, there is going. You're going to magically see that the guy in handcuffs has been moved to bearing 240. Got him. Uh, that man uh, wants to be shot at, don't you, Beckett? Did Beckett kill himself? <laughs> so dead. Watch this shot. Oh, look, we can all see him. He's running leftwards. So, so this is about firing on the move. So we've got to predict where he's going to be. No, with the mortar. Absolutely. Right. So guess where he's going to be. Guess the firing time. Got him. Nailed him. Did you actually just shoot him? Down? No, he stopped moving. He he laid down. Uh, can you um, can you uh, mark on the map where we are? Uh. I'll well, get him. <laughs> right. But now it's time to play mortar roulette. So just uh. A lot of HE. <laughs> I've used uh, it all of him. I'll spot. I'll spot oh, in there. Come on, come on, land on him. Come on, come on. That was my shot. I almost hit him. Okay, whoever needs to go get ammo, there's a very wintry vehicle with a man in it. That man has taken some amount of bird poo. Uh, where's the non-winter variants? Hey, Stephen. Yes. Wrong boot. I'm over here, Steven. No, I'm not over there. Alright, whoever, ne whoever needs more kit, go get in that vehicle and go get kit. If anyone needs another mortar. Hang on, need ammo, Wait, Where did we get ammo from? I don't Actually, need ammo. I don't need it. Oh. Uh, uh, towards that thing on the left. Or, or I, I, could, I could just be very efficient. We're already going. Where should we go? Uh, I, there you go. <laughs> he was the guy with the fake axes. He had, he had the kids. <laughs> he had the fake. <laughs> he had the axes. You must have got your control wheel on and get your kid. <laughs> it popped up for a second. It's gone again. <laughs> I think we're the target now. You can stop. Oh, that's just cool. <laughs> 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 I can't uh, up a tank and die. You went down. <laughs> I can't stop that. <laughs> we were just there. Oh god. Uh, well his tanks, uh, I should probably teleport. Are they coming back now? Oh. Right, we're just gonna play... 
roulette, so everyone into a circle. There's a position. Everybody into a circle. Everybody oh, face I, each other. I deployed prematurely. Oops. Everybody look at the corpse. Everybody get it. Make sure you've got HG. Uh, how many meters away? Straight uh, up. <laughs> straight up. The maximum upness. Go straight up. We fire so and everyone, whoever stays the longest wins. There? Okay. Oh no. Yeah. Whoever stays longest wins. Have you never seen grown ups? <laughs> Right, so yeah. You have to survive though, you have to survive. Oh, fuck. Ah, that's no fun. <laughs> that's a difficult bit. Yeah, but if you don't survive, then you might as well just don't move for playing armor. Alright, so 1525 five should be what it's at. Somebody's aiming straight down, that's the wrong way around. Just, who's gone oh. straight down? Oops. <laughs> me, me, my man. Oops. Uh, I started doing that. Also, do you like how awful his arm looks? Because it just stretches it. Yep. What about his leg? Look at his fucking. Look at his leg! <laughs> it's like, nah, the arm. <laughs> Alright. Somebody went straight down again. Darker than you're going the other way. My bad, I thought this was me. No, if you hold alt, you can still. <laughs> Wait, goes... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I know, I just forgot about Wait, that. For 15 a what? <laughs> 1521 or 1550 should be the maximum elevation that you can have. I mean, mine goes around a circle at this point. I mean, that's the point. Oh, All fair right. enough. Firing in five, four, three, two, one, fire! <laughs> Alright, boys. <laughs> I was thinking that! <laughs> I'm gonna take my death in stride. Oh. It's not fast enough. Why is he dead? Is that just his corpse? Am I teleporting a corpse? This could end very badly for us. Yeah, so I just fired a Piat straight up. <laughs> oh. Ow! <laughs> Did you knock down Selfridge? It knocked me out.